going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be helping Omar, 68 Charger. You guys know who that is now. Put this Gen 3 Hemi. And what transmission is that? Uh, TKX transmission, five speed. So, and the five speed transmission into the 68 Charger. He already pulled out his old engine and trans. So today we're gonna to be, we're gonna be working. So let's get started. So we just finished putting the bell housing on, the transmission on, it's all put together. And now we're just gonna give everything a quick glance over and then you say we still gotta cut some stuff? Yeah, we still have to essentially clear over here. We gotta take the battery plate out. Okay. And then we have to clear, um, I guess just shave a little bit off right here um, so that the AC compressor can fit. And that's pretty much what I was doing whenever I ended up having that uh, awesome accident that took me to the ER. So I never even got a chance to do that. Yeah, so I'll see if you can send me a clip of that <laughs> yeah, or we'll do whatever that. you've got. And I'll insert it in here. Basically, uh, watch your fingers and toes, kids, when you're cutting. Okay, so you need me to take this battery tray out or we got to yeah. grind it out, right? Because it's got some spot welds on there. Yeah. All right, update. I've been grinding for like, what, over an hour? Probably. Cutting and grinding over an hour. He's Thanks, been... Man. Yeah, he's been ripping out the interior. Uh, let me show you what I cut here real quick. A little diagram if you want to show them. Oh, cool. So the diagram is upside down is what it is. So it wanted us to, you see right there, sharpie out that and cut it. And it would end up like that basically for the AC compressor to clear. And here it is all cut out. I need to get a file and clean up the burrs off the edges. But overall, I think I cut a little more. But the last thing I want to do is put that big Hemi in here and then it doesn't clear, take it back out. So I think I cut more than enough. So that's good. And you already pulled out the, yep, you already pulled out the driver's seat and the center console. Yeah, so pretty much all I need to do is take out that pedal, that gas pedal. Okay. And then I'm gonna be able to just to flip the carpet over and I don't think I'm gonna to have to take out anything else. So I think we should be good with that. All right. All right, so I finished grinding and clearing the starter. So that's where we at. So that's officially mounted on the Hemi. Um, Omar's pretty much pulled out what he's needed to out of the interior. And we're just trying to figure out some of the wiring right now, but we're gonna take a quick break cause gotta eat something. All right, fun fact for the swap, we had to put a oil filter adapter uh, kit, 45 degree kit, but then we didn't have the right socket to get the OE uh, screw on whatever you call that we don't have the tool to get it off so we had to go get the tool for that so we got that on again complete drive kit is all in the front now we're just going to put the engine mounts on and slap this bad boy in here we move the charger back and we should be able to get this in it's already seven o'clock so what we're like six hours deep huh omar probably yeah yeah about six hours deep he's probably about eight hours deep <laughs> um but yeah now we just need to get this thing in there Make sure everything fits up and then uh, we'll go from there. Mid project update. We're dying in here. <laughs> oh, man. Look at us. We're whooped. We're whooped. But look, we're halfway there. The Hemi is. The Hemi is literally halfway there. The Hemi and transmission, actually, because it's both in one. Uh, we just got to level the Hemi out and uh, get the. Come on, engine, engine. Uh, yeah, it's been a long day, guys. So. <laughs> We're a little bit tired, but we're gonna we're determined to get it done today. Yeah, so we just gotta get the engine mounts uh, where they go. That's what I was trying to say this entire time is the engine mounts where they go. And then um, I guess you have the trans brace, right? Look at this yeah. man. It's right over there, actually, right to, next to the TKO transmission. So we still got the, we got the trans brace. Put the transmission up. Uh, 
I've never met anybody who just jumps on top of their Dodge Charger. And uh, yeah, Omar's that guy. <laughs> He's like, I've had this car since I was 16. I'll step on it, I'll do whatever. So anyways, let me uh, get in here and help Omar finish leveling out this Hemi so we can put it in. And the sooner we get the transmission bolted up and in place, the sooner we can wrap up the day and clean up shop. So let's get back to it. All right, victory, <laughs> victory. We got the we got the Hemi in. Bam! Look at that sick puppy. So yeah, we just had to, well, Omar put the jack on the back of the trans to level it out because the leveler on our Pittsburgh here, the high quality stuff, uh, it was what stripped out so we couldn't level it. Uh, but basically put the uh, jack on the back of the trans, able to level it out. We got one of the uh, engine mount bolts in and then we got the other side in so engine mount bolts are in now we just need to get the trans brace which is sitting right over here right that's it next to the tko yeah and right over here and then um yeah pretty much after that is just uh trying to figure out how we're gonna do the headers next i think yeah so <laughs> then headers but, but we ain't doing headers tonight baby that's a, that's, a <laughs> battle for another day. that's a battle for another day i think today the main the main thing today is just getting the engine and trans in and then um, it's already nine o'clock, so we're gonna wrap this up. All right. So I just finished cutting out the trans tunnel and we found a lot of Bondo. <laughs> <laughs> we found about, what is that? An inch and in some places more than an inch of Bondo. Um, nice little surprise here for Omar. But other than that, the engine and transmission, the hardest, the biggest part is in. Next up is going to be all the wiring like we stated before. Um, and I guess you got to put the transmission brace. Yeah, that, that won't take long at all. Um, I was actually going to do it, but uh, yeah, like I think I showed you all on my last uh, video with my buddy Jesse. He said he had plenty of room to um, essentially cut the transmission um, hole after the transmission was already in because there should have been like at least an inch, right, of clearance. but. Uh, with this crazy like transmission it was all, all the way down right i don't know yeah it was yeah, it was pretty it. much like hitting the tunnel and yeah. we couldn't figure out why once i peeled back the carpet and started cutting all this dust started coming up and we were like oh that's bondo so i had to start chiseling it all the way so we could actually cut and it was because the tunnel was all bent downward so but now it's all clean you can see all the bondo there that i had to chisel away but we just had to make enough room to put the shifter in place. Uh, we still got to clean all the edges. We want to take some more of this Bondo out. Uh, but for the most part, that's pretty much complete. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching the version of swapping the Hemi into Omar 68 Charger on my channel, but make sure to check out his channel. What's your channel? Uh, just 68 Charger, 68 underscore Charger. 68 underscore Charger. All right, so make sure you get that so you're on the right YouTube page and you can watch his version of the video. Uh, he's going to be doing a lot more work. You still got to do headers. You can start some of the wiring. Um, so you can keep up with this build on that. And then once I have some more time, I'll be back in here helping Omar wrap up his charger build. No, man, I really appreciate your help. Thanks a lot yeah, for coming out, Ben. Yeah. It's been like, what, nine hours, <laughs> 10 hours? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you really got to love working on these cars to, you know, spend this much time on them. And when you got good people, it's even better. Yeah, man. Well, thanks. Thanks for coming on, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. I appreciate yeah. all the, uh, I did all this for a chili cheese coney. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate lunch. Appreciate you having me out here. And uh, we actually live right down the road from each other. So <laughs> we'll see. We'll be seeing more of each other. But all right, guys, we're going to wrap this, this video. Make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment below. Let us know what you want us to see us do with his 68, my own INSRT, or even the Daytona. And of course, Umar's got his Jeep. I've got my Jeep I got to finish up. So catch you next time, guys. Yeah. Peace out. Oh,